Cardiff University Welsh, is a public research university in Cardiff, Wales. Founded in 1883 as the University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire, it became one of the founding colleges of the University of Wales in 1893, and in 1997 received but held in abeyance its own degree awarding powers. It merged with the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology in 1988. The college adopted the public name of Cardiff University in 1999, and in 2005 this became its legal name, when it became an independent university awarding its own degrees. The third oldest university institution in Wales, it is composed of three colleges, Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, Biomedical and Life Sciences, and Physical Sciences and Engineering. Status Cardiff is the only Welsh member of the Russell Group of research-intensive British universities. It is recognised as providing high-quality, research-based university education, and placed between 100th and 200th in the world by the four major international rankings, and in the top 60 in all three UK achievement tables. It ranked fifth in the UK among multi-faculty institutions for the quality GPA of its research and 17th for its research power in the 2014 Research Excellence Framework. For 2017-2018, Cardiff had a turnover of £516.1 million, including £106 million from research grants and contracts. The university has an undergraduate enrolment of 23,085 and a total enrolment of 31,595, according to HESA data for 2016-17, making it one of the ten largest universities in the UK. The Cardiff University Students' Union works to promote the interests of the student body within the university and further afield. The university's sports teams compete in the British Universities and Colleges Sport BUCS leagues. History University College Discussions on the founding of a university college in South Wales began in 1879, when a group of Welsh and English MPs urged the government to consider the poor provision of higher and intermediate education in Wales and the best means of assisting any local effort which may be made for supplying such deficiency. In October 1881, William Gladstone's government appointed a departmental committee to conduct an inquiry into the nature and extent of intermediate and higher education in Wales." Chaired by Lord Abadare and consisting of Viscount Emlyn, Reverend Prebendary H. G. Robinson, Henry Richard, John Rees and Lewis Morris. The Abadare report, as it came to be known, took evidence from a wide range of sources and over 250 witnesses and recommended a college each for North Wales and South Wales, the latter to be located in Glamorgan and the former to be the established University College of Wales in Aberystwyth, now Aberystwyth University. The committee cited the unique Welsh national identity and noted that many students in Wales could not afford to travel to university in England or Scotland. It advocated a national degree awarding university for Wales, composed of regional colleges, which should be non-sectarian in nature and exclude the teaching of theology. After the recommendation was published, Cardiff Corporation sought to secure the location of the college in Cardiff, and on 12 December 1881 formed a university college committee to aid the matter. There was competition to be the site between Swansea and Cardiff. On 12 March 1883, after arbitration, a decision was made in Cardiff's favour. This was strengthened by the need to consider the interests of Monmouthshire, at that time not legally incorporated into Wales, and the greater sum received by Cardiff in support of the college, through a public appeal that raised £37,000 and a number of private donations, notably from the Lord Bute and Lord Windsor. In April Lord Abadare was appointed as the college's first president. 
The possible locations considered included Cardiff Arms Park, Cathedral Road, and Moria Terrace, Roth. Before the site of the old Royal Infirmary buildings on Newport Road was chosen, the University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire opened on 24 October 1883 with courses in biology, chemistry, English, French, German, Greek, history, Latin, mathematics and astronomy, music, Welsh, logic and philosophy, and physics. It was incorporated by Royal Charter the following year, this being the first in Wales to allow the enrolment of women, and specifically forbidding religious tests for entry. John Viriamu Jones was appointed as the university's first principal at the age of 27. As Cardiff was not an independent university and could not award its own degrees, it prepared its students for examinations of the University of London or for further study at Oxford or Cambridge. In 1888, the University College at Cardiff and that of North Wales, now Bangor University, proposed to the University College Wales at Aberystwyth joint action to gain a university charter for Wales, modelled on that of Victoria University, a confederation of new universities in northern England. Such a charter was granted to the new University of Wales in 1893, allowing the colleges to award degrees as members. The Chancellor was set ex officio as the Prince of Wales, and the position of operational head would rotate among heads of the colleges. In 1885, Abadare Hall opened as the first hall of residence, allowing women access to the university. This moved to its current site in 1895, but remains a single sex hall. In 1904 came the appointment of the first female associate professor in the UK, Millicent Mackenzie, who in 1910 became the first female full professor at a fully chartered UK university. In 1901 Principal Jones persuaded Cardiff Corporation to give the college a five-acre site in Cattays Park instead of selling it as they would have done otherwise. Soon after, in 1905, work on a new building commenced under the architect W. D. Corot. Money ran short for the project, however. Although the side wings were completed in the 1960s, the planned Great Hall has never been built. Corot sought to combine the charm and elegance of his former Trinity College, Cambridge with the picturesque balance of many Oxford colleges. On 14 October 1909 the New College building in Cattays Park now main building was opened in a ceremony involving a procession from the Old College. In Newport Road, in 1931, the School of Medicine, founded as part of the college in 1893 along with the Departments of Anatomy, Physiology, Pathology, Pharmacology, was split off to form the Welsh National School of Medicine, which was renamed in 1984 the University of Wales College of Medicine. In 1972, the institution was renamed University College Cardiff. Topic: 1988 merger. In 1988, University College Cardiff underwent extreme financial difficulties, and a declaration of insolvency was seriously considered. This led to a merger with the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology (UWIST) to form the University of Wales College of Cardiff. The principal of the new institution was Sir Aubrey Trotman Dickinson, who had been principal of UWIST. After changes to the constitution in 1996, its name was changed to the University of Wales, Cardiff. In the early 1990s, the university's computer system served as the home for the Internet Movie Database. Independence and 2004 merger In 1997, the college was granted full independent degree awarding powers by the Privy Council though, as a member of the University of Wales it could not begin using them and in 1999 the public name of the university was changed to Cardiff University. In 2002, ideas were floated to merge Cardiff again with the University of Wales College of Medicine, after publication of the Welsh Assembly Government's Review of Higher Education in Wales. This merger became effective on 1 August 2004, when Cardiff University ceased to be a constituent of the University of Wales and became an independent, link institution, affiliated to the Federal University. The process of the merger was completed on 1 December 2004, when the Act of Parliament transferring UWCM's assets to Cardiff University received royal assent. 
On 17 December it was announced that the Privy Council had given approval to the new supplemental charter and had granted university status to Cardiff, legally changing the name of the institution to Cardiff University. Cardiff awarded University of Wales degrees to students admitted before 2005, but these have been replaced by Cardiff degrees. In 2005, Wales College of Medicine, as part of the university, launched the North Wales Clinical School in Wrexham, in collaboration with the North East Wales Institute of Higher Education in Wrexham, the University of Wales, Bangor, and the National Health Service in Wales. This received funds of £12.5 million from the Welsh Assembly and trebled the number of trainee doctors in clinical training in Wales over a four-year period. The university also has a popular centre for lifelong learning, which has been teaching a wide range of courses for over 125 years. However in July 2009, the university announced it was ending over 250 humanities courses at the centre, making over 100 staff redundant. The university has since reintroduced a number of humanities courses for a trial period beginning in 2010. In June 2010, the university launched three new research institutes, each offering a new approach to a major modern research issue. The Neurosciences and Mental Health Research Institute and the Cancer Stem Cell Research Institute are housed in the purpose built Hyden Ellis Building, and in the Sustainable Places Research Institute. Another part of the Science and Development Campus, the Cardiff University Brain Research Imaging Centre CUBRIC, opened in June 2016 for neuroimaging research. <laughs> <laughs> Campus Topic academic facilities The university's academic facilities are centered around Cates Park in central Cardiff, which contains the university's Grade II asterisk listed main building, housing administrative facilities and the Science Library, the Grade II listed Butte building, which contains the Welsh School of Architecture and the Cardiff School of Journalism, Media and Cultural Studies, the Grade I listed Glamorgan building, which houses the Cardiff Schools of Planning and Geography and Social Sciences, the Redwood building named in 19 1979 after the Redwood family of Boverton near Clantwit Major by a 1978 suggestion by J. D. R. Thomas, which houses the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, the Law Building which houses the Cardiff Law School, and the Biosciences Building, which provides facilities for both biosciences and medical teaching. The School of Engineering, School of Computer Science and Informatics and School of Physics and Astronomy are located in the Queen's Buildings, off Newport Road. A number of university academic facilities are located at the Heath Park campus, based at the University Hospital of Wales. This contains the Cardiff University School of Medicine, the School of Dentistry, the School of Healthcare Sciences, and the School of Optometry and Vision Sciences. Athletics facilities Most of the university's sports facilities are located at the Sports Training Village in the Talibont Halls complex. This includes facilities for football, badminton, basketball, tennis, hockey and gym. Additional gym facilities and squash courts are located at the University Fitness and Squash Center, near the city center campus at Cates Park. Extensive playing fields for rugby, football and lacrosse are located at the university playing fields near Clanrumney. The university also utilizes the nearby Millennium Stadium for rugby fixtures such as the annual varsity tournament. Topic: Organization. Topic: Schools and colleges. The 26 academic schools of the university are divided into three colleges, Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, Biomedical and Life Sciences, and Physical Sciences. Cardiff also has a doctoral academy, that brings together the work of four previous discipline-based graduate schools and the postgraduate research activity of the university's Graduate Centre. Finances. <laughs> <laughs> In the financial year ended 31 July 2012, Cardiff University had a total net income of £425.54 million. 
Key sources of income included £87.65 million from research grants and contracts, £117.36 million from funding council grants, £123.84 million from tuition fees and support grants and £3.17 million from endowment and investment income. During the 2011–12 financial year Cardiff had a capital expenditure of £14.29 million. At 31 July 2012 Cardiff had endowments of £25.58 million and total net assets of £402.86 million. <laughs> <laughs> Academic profile Reputation and rankings Cardiff University continues the tradition of all three of its former institutions in providing high-quality research-based education in Wales, as shown in its five-year standing as the best centre of excellence in Wales in the Sunday Times League tables, until 2017, where it was overtaken by Swansea University. Cardiff is also the only university in Wales to be a member of the Russell Group of research-intensive universities. Cardiff is by far the strongest research-focused university in Wales. In the 2008 research assessment exercise, 33 out of the 34 research areas submitted by the university for assessment were shown to be undertaking research that includes world-leading work. Cardiff has two Nobel laureates on its staff, Sir Martin Evans and Robert Huber. A number of Cardiff University staff have been elected as Fellows of the Royal Society, these include Graham Hutchings FRS, Professor of Physical Chemistry and Director of the Cardiff Catalysis Institute, School of Chemistry, Ole Holger Peterson, MRC Professor and Director of Cardiff School of Biosciences, and John M. Pierce, Professor of Psychology. In 2013, Cardiff University was ranked as one of the best UK universities for supporting LGB students by the charity Stonewall in its annual Gay by degree guide. The university was one of only two in the UK and the only one in Wales to achieve top marks in a Stonewall checklist of priorities for LGB students. Cardiff University was ranked 188th in best global universities internationally and 19th nationally. Topic: <laughs> Admissions. In terms of average UCAS points of entrance, Cardiff ranked 32nd in Britain in 2015. The university gave offers of admission to 75.2% of its applicants in 2015, the 13th lowest amongst the Russell Group. According to the 2017 Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide, approximately 15% of Cardiff's undergraduates come from independent schools. In the 2016-2017 academic year, the university had a domicile breakdown of 76, 519 of UK, EU, non-EU students respectively with a female to male ratio of 59 to 41. <laughs> <laughs> Student life Student accommodation The university maintains 14 student halls and a number of student houses throughout the city of Cardiff, providing a total of 5,362 student places in accommodation. They are in a variety of architectural styles and ages, from the Gothic Abadare Hall, built in 1895, to the modern Talibond Halls, built in 1995. All first-year students are guaranteed a place in halls. The Cardiff University halls are Topic: Students' Union. The Cardiff University Students' Union is a student-run organization aiming to promote student interests within the university and further afield. The Cardiff University Students' Union building is near Cates Park, next to Cates Railway Station. It has shops, a night club and the studios of Express Radio and Gare Reith, the student newspaper. It is democratically controlled by the student body through the election of seven full-time officers, who manage the running of the union. The union provides a range of services, including a number of cafes, bars and shops, as well as advice, training and representation. The union is an affiliated member of the National Union of Students. 
Topic: <laughs> Groups and Societies. The union also supports over 260 other clubs and societies across a wide range of interests, including Cardiff University Debating Society and Act 1, the Student Dramatic Society. All clubs offer opportunities for beginners and the more experienced students. Topic: <laughs> Media. The union provides facilities and support for several student media groups, including Gare Reith, an award winning, free student newspaper that is released every Monday of term, Quench, a monthly arts and lifestyle magazine that specializes in the local music scene as well as original investigative feature articles, and CUTV, the student television channel. Express Radio is the student radio station. It broadcasts from 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. daily, with programming ranging from comedy panel shows and film review shows to new and local music showcases. It operates from a studio on the third floor of the Students' Union building. Athletics <laughs> 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 The Cardiff University Athletic Union is the body that supports student sport at Cardiff. It oversees more than 60 competitive and non competitive sports clubs, many of which compete in the British Universities and Colleges Sport League. The university's ice hockey team, the Cardiff Redhawks, which also recruits players from other Welsh universities, competes in the British Universities Ice Hockey Association leagues. The university's sports teams also take part in the annual Welsh Varsity against Swansea University, which includes the Welsh Boat Race and several other sporting competitions. The Welsh Varsity rugby match has been described as probably the second biggest varsity game next to Oxford vs Cambridge. Cardiff participates in British universities and colleges sport which manages a sporting framework of competitive fixtures and events for over 150 institutions around the UK. Cardiff registers nearly 100 teams in the various leagues and competitions each year and sees students travelling around the country to represent Cardiff University. In 2013 Cardiff team achieved 15th position overall across the 50 different sports hosting events. <laughs> Insignia and other representations Motto <laughs> 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 Cardiff University's motto is Gwiraneth, Undotta Chitgord. The Welsh motto translates as truth, unity and concord or truth, unity and harmony. It is taken from the prayer for the church militant as it appears in the 1662 Book of Common Prayer. <laughs> Coat of arms Cardiff University's current coat of arms was granted by the College of Arms in 1988 following the merger of University College Cardiff and the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology. The coat of arms incorporates features from the heraldry of both former institutions. The three silver chevrons on a red background are derived from the arms of Yeston Ap Gwr Gant, an 11th century ruler of the Welsh Kingdom of Morganig that encompassed Glamorgan and Monmouthshire. The open book signifies learning, on it are the crescent and annulet, marks of cadence that indicate that University College Cardiff was the second of the University of Wales institutions, and that the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology was the fifth. A notable feature of the arms are the supporters, which in heraldry are rarely granted to universities. The supporters are an angel from University College Cardiff and a Welsh dragon from the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology. The crest is a Welsh dragon in the stance of a lion, it stands on the helmet. Both the dragon and the helmet are distinguished by being front-facing rather than in profile as is more usually found in Welsh heraldry. <laughs> Notable alumni and faculty <laughs> Vice-chancellors List of Vice Chancellors and Principals of Cardiff University and its predecessors, shown in brackets. 1883 to 1901, University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire, John Viriamu Jones. 
1901–1918 University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire, Ernest Howard Griffiths 1918–1929 University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire, Professor A. H. Tro. 1929–1949 University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire, Sir Frederick Rees 1949–1966 University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire, Anthony Bedford Steele 1966–1972 University College of South Wales and Monmouthshire, Dr. C. W. L. Bill Bevan 1972–1987 University College Cardiff, Dr. C. W. L. Bill Bevan 1968–1988 University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology, Sir Aubrey Trotman Dickinson 1988–1993, Sir Aubrey Trotman Dickinson 1993–2001, Sir Brian Smith 2001–2012, Sir David Grant 2012–present, Professor Colin Reardon Topic. Heads of state and government Lord Jenkins, former Chancellor of the Exchequer, Home Secretary, President of the European Commission and Chancellor of the University of Oxford did not graduate Bahram Saleh, President of Iraq, former Prime Minister of the Iraqi Kurdistan region and former Deputy Prime Minister of the Iraqi Federal Government Politics David Bahati, current State Minister of Finance for Planning in the Uganda's Cabinet Christine Chapman, former AM for Kunan Valley Geoffrey Cuthbert, Gwent Police and Crime Commissioner, former AM for Care Philly and former Minister for Communities and Tackling Poverty Heaven David, AM for Care Philly Wayne David, MP for Care Philly and former Shadow Minister for Europe Guto Harry, Communications Director for the Mayor of London Boris Johnson's administration at London City Hall Ellen Jones, AM for Keredigion, current Presiding Officer and former Minister for Rural Affairs Sir Amir Jones-Parry, former British Permanent Representative to the United Nations, 2003–2007 Glenys Kinnock, former MEP and former UK Foreign Office Minister Neil Kinnock, leader of Her Majesty's Most Loyal Opposition, the 2nd of October 1983 to the 18th of July 1992. Mike Hedges, AM for Swansea East. Hilary Marquand, former MP for Cardiff East. Robert Minhinick, co-founder of Friends of the Earth, Cymru. Christopher Walter Monckton, third Viscount Monckton of Brenchley, advisor to Margaret Thatcher. Craig Oliver, former Conservative Party Director of Communications Bill Rammel, former MP for Harlow David Rees, AM for Aberavon Lord Richards, former Chief of the Defence Staff Michael Shrimpton, barrister, politician, and conspiracy theorist John Smith, former MP for the Vale of Glamorgan, former member of the Defence Select Committee Brian Wilson, former MP for Cunningham North Mike Wood, Member of Parliament for Dudley South Academia Miguel Alcubierre, Mexican theoretical physicist Rudolf K. Allemann, Swiss biochemist Robin Atfield, philosopher Martin J. Ball, Professor of Speech-Language Pathology at Linköping University, Sweden Yehuda Bauer, Professor of Holocaust Studies at the Avraham Harman Institute of Contemporary Jewry at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem Leszek Borizovic, Vice-Chancellor of the University of Cambridge The RTREVD Gregory Cameron, Bishop of St. Asaph Sheila Cameron QC, Lawyer and Ecclesiastical Judge Archie Cochran, pioneer of scientific method in medicine Peter Coles, professor of astrophysics The RTREVD Paul Colton, Bishop of Cork, Cloyne and Ross David Crouch, historian Alan Davies, bioscientist Hugh Dixon, economist Stephen Dunnett, neuroscientist 
Sir Martin Evans, Nobel Prize for Medicine 2007 Dimitra Femi, writer Karen Holford, engineer Robert Huber, Professor of Chemistry, Nobel Laureate, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 1988 John Lachlan, Professor of Politics Vaughan Lowe QC, Chichely Professor of Public International Law in the University of Oxford Patrick Minford, Professor of Applied Economics John Warwick Montgomery, American lawyer and theologian, distinguished research professor of philosophy and Christian thought at Patrick Henry College. Christopher Norris, literary critic. Sir Keith Peters, FRS Meadshi, Regis Professor of Physic in the University of Cambridge. Leighton Durham Reynolds, Emeritus Professor of Classical Languages and Literature, University of Oxford. Alice Roberts, clinical anatomist and osteoarchaeologist. Wendy Sadler, physicist and science communicator H. W. Lloyd Tanner, professor of mathematics and astronomy 1883 Pamela Taylor, professor of forensic psychiatry since 2004 Mina Upadhyaya, medical geneticist The RTREVD Dominic Walker, OGS, Bishop of Monmouth Keith Ward, philosopher, Gresham Professor of Divinity, Gresham College Chandra Wickramasinghe, Professor of Applied Mathematics Reinhold Nantleis-Williams, academic Business Spencer Dale, Chief Economist, Bank of England Andrew Gould, Chairman and former CEO, Schlumberger Martin Lewis, personal finance journalist, television presenter and website entrepreneur Dame Mary Perkins, co-founder, Specsavers Kerry Powell, senior Royal Dutch Shell executive John Pettigrew, businessman, CEO, National Grid plc Sport Nathan Cleverly, professional boxer and former WBO light heavyweight world champion Gareth Davies, former Wales and British and Irish Lions international rugby union player, and current chief executive of Cardiff Rugby Football Club Gerald Davies, former Wales and British and Irish Lions international rugby union player Mike Hall, former Wales and British and Irish Lions international rugby union player Stephen Outerbridge, Bermudian cricketer Jamie Roberts, Wales and British and Irish Lions international rugby union player James Tomlinson, English cricketer Bradley Wadlin, Welsh cricketer Alex Goff, squash player <laughs> Arts and journalism Matt Barbett, journalist Manish Bashan, journalist and television presenter Nick Broomfield, documentary filmmaker and receiver of the BAFTA Lifetime Achievement Award for contribution to documentary Philip Cashian, composer Suw Charman Anderson, journalist and social software consultant Adrian Chiles, television presenter Gillian Clark, poet and receiver of the Queen's Gold Medal for Poetry Hugh Edwards, journalist Ken Elias, artist, painter Max Foster, CNN anchor, CNN Today M. A. Griffiths, poet Julia Hartley Brewer, journalist and television presenter Jiang Hepping, executive director of the CCTV Sports Programming Center and controller of CCTV5 Tim Hetherington, photojournalist and co-director of Academy Award-nominated Restrepo Ellis James, stand-up comedian and actor Alan Hodenot, composer Cyan James 1974 choral conductor Carl Jenkins, composer Alan Johnston, journalist Riz Khan, journalist and television interviewer Bernard Knight, crime writer Simon Lane, co-founder and creative director of The Jogscast Limited Gwilym Lee, actor Sean Lloyd, television presenter Los Campesinos, six-piece indie pop band Philip Maddock, actor 
Paul Moorcraft, writer Sharon Morgan, actress Joanna Natashagara, documentary producer, Academy Award winner for Netflix documentary The White Helmets Sean Phillips, actress Susanna Reid, television presenter James Wrighton, musician Arlene Sierra, composer Mari Strachan, novelist and librarian Richard Tate, former BBC Governor and BBC Trustee Craig Thomas, author Vedhika, Indian actress Grace Williams, composer Ron Smirshak actor Ibrahim Sheem. Nigerian journalist, novelist, publisher See also List of universities in Wales List of modern universities in Europe 1801 to 1945 Education in Wales Town and Gown <laughs>